Kieran Fallon, who is with me now. Of all the rabbits you've pulled out of the hat in your long and mostly illustrious career, this has got to be the showiest, hasn't it? Well, I mean, I've never won this race, and it's, it's always exciting to, you know, you, 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 you wonder when you don't win them. And um, in particular, races like St. Ledger, I haven't won yet. It's a race I'd love to win. But this gave me a real thrill today. It's a, it's a, tough, it's a tough race, and um, especially on the top weight. I think the key to him today was uh, the bit of juice in the ground. And you've got him into a, a lovely spot and a lovely rhythm. It's all very well to have stall one, but you need the horse to use the stall. Yeah, if you haven't got good speed, you'd be in trouble because the field come across pretty quickly in the shuffle. You're right out of it. I was able to hold a position, even though he was off it. I still had to hold a position. Ran up behind two of them when really I didn't want it, but it probably helped me win the race in a way because I didn't go, I didn't go too soon, but just just soon enough to win it. You know, it's funny, you you look at the race at this stage and you think, well, they've probably only got two or three furlongs to go. You're barely at halfway. Yeah, and, and, and you know, I looked across at Richard Hughes there. He's doing an absolute canter. I thought it was really only racing for second place. Uh, Jimmy Quinn, on the eventual runner-up, who's about the toughest horse in training, has just nipped up your inside there, the navy colours. <laughs> I, I didn't realise that. I was only watching a couple in front of me. You know, it's, it's a dangerous position you're in because they've gone quick up front and they're going to come back on top of you. And I didn't really want that to happen, so it's just trying to find a slot. And I moved out here when it, when it just mattered. I was able to get out, and then he just picked up the bridle, and I went when I wanted to go. And in these staying races, how important is it to have a horse who is just a little off the bridle, so you can drive him away and get that momentum up, get the revs up? Yeah, and only that is you're not using any any fuel at all. It's a great way to have them if you can just get them striding without really getting into them. And it wasn't that I run, really run by the tree that I really asked him to stretch and he lengthened for me. And now you've got Jimmy Quinn coming up to your girth. Um, did you think at this point you had a lot of horse left? I know my horse is tough and he really, really tries hard. You know, he was a winner of this race a couple of years ago, even though he's got a lot more weight today. But when Jimmy came to me, I did think he was going to overtake me. But when well, I stuck his head out, he really wanted it, you know. Just, and just, just quietly allowing your horse to intimidate and lean into the runner-up. Bit of, bit of Fallon tactics well, well, there. I wouldn't have said that, really. I wanted to stay on the rail. The rail is always worth a length, and, at least here. Yeah, but he done it well in the end. You know, he, I think he wanted it more than the runner-up. Well, they both uh, run tremendously well and clear of Tominator in third. It looked a strong race going into it too. Well, it was a strong race. You know, there's a Mark Prescott horse in there was strongly fancied. There's a couple down at the bottom that were well in with low weights. You know, and. My has done well to win today. I mean, financial upside aside, it's a very valuable race. I remember Frankie de Tori winning this race last year. It gave him a massive kick, and it, it obviously has you as well. Well, yeah, these, these big handicaps are always a thrill to win them because they're, they're tough races to win. There's a lot of, a lot of workers into them. You need to get the horse well handicapped, you know, and, and then to be able to overcome the draw and a lot of other things as well. So it is a great trail. Tremendous stuff. Kieran, thanks for chatting to us. Well done. Thank you.